This is a review for the Mega Pro series of screwdrivers. Uh, the ones particularly today we'll be reviewing is the Mega Pro 15 in 1 original and the Mega Pro 13 in 1 ratcheting options. Uh, starting with the original, a design which is over 20 years old now. Uh, the concept for having the bit in shaft screwdriver was um, around but these guys had the bright idea of attaching the bits in the uh, butt of the screwdriver with a series of plastic clips so they don't rattle around and you can see which ones are missing. It's a pretty comprehensive set. There's um, Phillips 0, 1, 2 and 3 a 4mm and a 6mm uh, flat blade uh, Torx bits uh, we have T10, 15, 20 and 25 Robinson bit, Robertson bits R0, R1, R2 and R3 so they'll cover pretty much every aspect of household repair that you'd need to cover and you never know when you need a Robertson or a Torx bit so it's good to have these guys tucked away in here for the times that you actually do need them. So uh, the concept is pretty simple. Uh, you remove the bit from the handle, slide it back up. Uh, you'll notice there's um, a ball bearing uh, lock mechanism there to stop the bit from slipping out from the shaft. It fits into a quarter inch drive shaft which is the 15th tool on the screwdriver. It slots in quite firmly. I'm not going to teach you guys how to use a screwdriver, but uh, they're handy for changing batteries in kids' toys. Just uh, spin it around, the screw comes loose, open the back, replace the batteries as needed, close it back up, screw to tighten, batteries are changed. It's always handy to have a screwdriver around the house. A uh, couple things I like about this. The handle is big, you get a good firm grip on it. You can get plenty of torque that way. Uh, this little yellow collar here uh, spins freely around the, uh, the shaft of the screwdriver so you can hold it firmly in place while screwing. Also the butt end here uh, spins freely so that as you're screwing you're not going to get any blisters on the palms of your hands. So once done, remove the bit, slides out reasonably easy. Open back up, pop it back in, close it up and you're ready to go for next time. The other screwdriver we're going to look at is the Mega Pro Ratcheting. Uh, this is a 13 in 1 option. has all the same bits contained within the handle except the R0 and the R3 Robertson bits. Uh, you still have the four Torx, uh, the two flat blades and the four Phillips uh, bits so that you can do pretty much everything around the house again. Uh, similar idea, remove bit from the clip, close it up, insert, and again we have the ball bearing which you're going to keep the bit locked in there. And on here there's a little design which lets you know which way your ratchet's going to be working. So turn it to the right and that's the way the ratchet is going to engage. Turn to the left going to engage for unscrewing and then back into the middle the ratchet locks for starting or, or uh, when, you, when your screw is that loose that the ratchet is not going to engage. So again when you're done with your screwing remove the bit, open the bit container, pop it back in. All of the bits are stamped with the style so it's really easy to identify which ones are which. 
I'm not quite sure if you're picking that up on camera, but see uh, photos in the text of the post just to you know, get a close up of that. So that's the Mega Pro Ratcheting 13 in 1 and the Mega Pro Original 15 in 1. Uh, the company has been around for over 20 years. All the items are made in the US and Canada. Good solid screwdrivers, highly recommended.